I'd like to explain how to do stabilizing. I sell raw materials and I see a lot of raw materials being wasted and I've learned how to stabilize. It's not that difficult and I'd like to see other people do the same thing. So you can see some of the finished product so you know how it's going to turn out. There's a white um, plastic tooth here that I have stabilized and made it look like a fossil. Nobody is selling um, replica fossils. I think this is a good job. Though mostly the, the most important thing is to pick material and you want material that's soft and not a good color because you can add color to the to the material whether it's ivory or wood. And the cactus juice is what I use. It's a liquid form like water. It's clear. You could stabilize without adding any color. The big cracks I try and fill first because this cactus juice is like water and only fills microscopic holes. And the big things I use super glue on, I'm showing. I've got other videos that show how to do more of a restoration. This is how to stabilize more than restore, but you need to do some restoration first, probably. So I use um, super glue. I use the brand Starbond. It comes in three thicknesses and four or five colors. If I'm not using that and filling something thicker, then I use fiberglass resin, like what you would use on a boat. So I can fill large cracks like you're seeing here, big voids, uh, fill hollow places in the back of mammoth ivory, um, and the mostly you have to be concerned whether the the filler is going to handle the 200 degree oven temperature when you cook the cactus juice. So here I've got the resin being mixed. I'm soaking here in cactus juice and you can soak one end and flip it over and soak the other end in another color and I don't use a vacuum. I just soak it for a longer period of time uh, from a few days to a week. So you can see here I'm putting it in another color, black, and I think the other color might have been blue. And that's uh, important to find material that will soak up this resin. Normally I choose material that wouldn't take a polish, that's soft, almost like chalk. And that's what's ideal for stabilizing, like this ivory ear, but wood also works. After the soaking, sometimes two weeks like I say I have to wrap the the items to be stabilized in foil so that the the cactus juice doesn't just run all over the place when it's heated up the foil traps the cactus juice I load it in the kiln because it has to be held at 200 degrees you can use a an oven even a kitchen oven I just happen to own a kiln and it works for me I can program it walk away and uh, mostly um, 200 degrees for two hours I put it at 250 just to make sure because uh, if it doesn't reach temperature it doesn't harden and that can really mess things up so I take it out of the oven and take the foil off you can see here that that what soaked out and went into the foil is hard and and what's inside your material is just as hard and so here is one of the fossil pieces of ivory that was white chalk and now it's blue black and hard and worth something so and you could see it isn't really that hard the cactus juice is a little bit spendy so it's one reason why I trim the pieces here's a piece of wood where I soaked it unevenly on purpose because I only want color in some places to help bring out the pattern I should add here that one of the beauties of uh, cactus juice is that it soaks into the softest, weakest places and follows that. And so if you only soak part of it, then that works out fine because the hard part doesn't need any resin. Sand off the cactus juice. And so here is a block of wood that I'm using as an example and that one corner that you see that's resin filler that there was actually a notch out of that wood but I blend in uh, some some resin that's what the outside looks like that's turquoise and so I can stabilize turquoise I might have to put turquoise in a vacuum and mammoth teeth also have to go in a vacuum uh, I can only explain um, 
so much of how to do this process. Uh, I'm just giving the basics here. Here's a mammoth tooth. I put a lot of super glue on. I wrap it with duct tape, put resin on it to let it soak into the thicker spots. I slice it, and then it's the slices that I stabilize with cactus juice. And the resin basically holds it together good enough that I can run it on the diamond saw. You can see the minor cracks and things in here. I may fill that with glue. Here's a, some mammoth hydra that was garbage, that was white, and you can see how it came out after sanding. That's going to make a nice set of knife scales. It might be worth um, a hundred bucks or so, and it was worth five dollars before I started. So even though the cactus juice is um, eighty dollars a gallon, you might find it for less. Um, a gallon goes a long way, but even so, um, here's some wood before, and I want to say that it's soft. It wouldn't polish. Even though the colors are nice, you couldn't use this wood. And so I show the after here, and now it's got brilliant color, brilliant pattern, and most important is it's stabilized. It's hard. It can now be cut. It won't break, and it can be polished. Now it has a value. Many customers that I have are purists and they tell me they don't want anything that they perceive as fake or enhanced or altered. They want it natural, right out of the environment as it is. But the big issue is they just don't have the money to buy that. It's, that's expensive stuff. I have it, but put another zero, put another two zeros on the price. I'm talking about something decent that's, that's affordable. I also believe that when you create your own product and materials, the end result is going to be yours. And you can stabilize the way you want. You may not want to use colors like I do. You might want to stabilize clear. You might want other colors, other intensities, other materials that you can experiment with. I'm just showing you what I do. But the beauty of doing it yourself is that it's going to come out the way you want.